Welcome back. South Africa's water woes are, are being addressed. That's the assurance from Water and Sanitation Minister Usenzo Mkulu. But it could take up to six years. That's how long it will take to complete phase two of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. It's already been delayed by years, which has cost the country millions. ENCA's Mangoba Mkulu accompanied the minister to Lesotho, where he assessed the situation. A possible solution to South Africa's endemic water problems. This is the construction site of the Putihadi Dam in Lesotho, which is part of the second phase of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project. The 39 billion rand project will see the construction of a 163-metre dam and a 32-kilometre tunnel, which will ferry water to South Africa through the Ash River in Clarence. We are um, at a point where we are completing construction of uh, the Putihadi village, which is where the uh, consultants and the, uh, the LHDA uh, workers will be staying during the construction of Budihadi Dam and the tunnel. We are constructing the uh, Budihadi Western Access Road, which is the main road that will be used for transportation of uh, um, material and uh, the, the TBM, the tunnel boring machine, which is going to be used for the boring of the tunnel, 38 kilometer long tunnel, which is going to transfer water from Budihadi to the main reservoir, which is the Gazi Reservoir. The first phase of the project was completed in 2004, with South Africa already having received over 4 billion cubic meters of water by 2007, and the country has been earmarked to receive more through the second phase of the project. The Budihadi Dam that is uh, uh, getting constructed now, and I'm from there, I saw, it's not a wish. It's going to add 1,260 million cubic meters per annum. And that is quite uh, a, a, a measure in terms of what we are looking at to secure uh, the people uh, of South Africa and Gauteng in particular uh, from the perspective of water. But the project has not been without criticism, with delays and concerns over South Africa's aging infrastructure among the concerns. It is um, long overdue from one of our ministers, but if there's anyone we hope that can actually start getting the list to Islands Phase 2 project on track, it is Minister M. Junior. The problem, though, because of the delays in the list to Islands uh, Phase 2 project, is that this is going to cost the taxpayer billions. It's going to probably almost cost it double the amount that it should have costed. In fact, the, this project should have given Gauteng and South Africa water in 2018 already. Phase two of the Lesotho Highlands Water Project, Poly Holly Dam, is of extreme national importance to South Africa. The entire economy of Gauteng, which is the largest employer in South Africa and the largest generator of economic output in the country, uh, is at stake. So unless this program is, uh, is implemented in the very, very near future, we are going to be in dire straits. But the minister is upbeat on resolving the issues. I acknowledge that we're a little bit behind schedule. It's 2022, it was supposed to be 2020. But what do you do when you are aware that you are behind schedule? You move fast. And this is what we're doing. We're focused, we're moving fast, everything is there and uh, we can only move fast. But while construction continues for phase two of the project, this will not end South Africa's immediate water problems as the project is expected to be completed by 2028. In the meantime, South Africans will have to continue using water sparingly to prevent taps from running dry. Mangobam Kunu, Maseru, Lesotho.